Hi guys, look what just turned up. Panorama. Nectar CS12. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a while. Beautiful, look at it. Looks great. So let me just unbox it. First time I've done an unboxing. So So we have the cable, USB, USB-C. Okay, so wow! How cool is that? Look at that. That is going to look mean. On here. Okay, let me just find a place for it. Look at that. That's going to look nice. It's going to look nice there. Yeah, so. Um, okay, I'll be back in about, I know when, when I get it sorted out, catch up. Hi and welcome back. Here we're going to be having a look at the Panorama CS12 from Nectar. Thanks to Niels who sent me this. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, basically, I've received this the other day and I've integrated this already into my workflow. Uh, I don't think I could uh, live without it. I had the uh, SSL... Um, nucleus one for about seven years and had integrated that really well and had a lot of shortcuts and stuff but this doesn't concentrate on too many shortcuts so you've got the basic ones uh i use now the keyboard more because i got used to that again because i sold my neck uh, my nucleus about three months ago and got back into using the shortcuts so that's fine i now have two screens i use so i don't need to toggle open this all the time which i find really annoying so now i've got that on a separate screen so anyway my setup is pretty cool this is really straightforward when you when you download the software you register you install the software it's pretty straightforward you uh obviously out of the box it doesn't work you have to install that you have to update the firmware this the instructions are all now i won't go into that uh there's videos on that already as well from nectar so that's pretty straightforward here we have a fader obviously and this is the uh, fader section here where you have a select, which is a thing I will explain in another video, which is pretty useful function, mute, solo, arm, and a pan. And uh, then we have the transport section, which has uh, various buttons, and you can then uh, assign markers really quickly. That's really easy. Uh, and then we have the, the actual plug-in section here, where you have the, the, the 16 input 16 slots if you want them uh, i never go past eight anyway i've got seven on my master channel here which is really practical really easy to use you could turn off and on all the plugins as you can see there you can turn on and off individual plugins that you could not do in uh in in s in the ssl uh nucleus i don't know if you can do that in the latest ssl but you couldn't have a whole load and a b like that that is really good when you want to a b something uh, then we have the encoders here, which uh, if you if you shift turn on and then say open up a plugin, this is a stock plugin. It's already mapped out. You've got all the colours there. You know everyone knows this analyzer. Everyone's seen this on the internet already. I'm late to the game. Uh, then obviously the third party. Some are mapped out. Some aren't. The colours are not mapped out on this one. Uh, the AMIC, the they're already mapped out. So I will be going into separate videos where i show you how to map uh instruments and map um plugins as well and do the colors for them as well uh this is just an overview because i'm using colorizer for logic which is lp colorizer as you can see my channels are colorized already to you know different colors because i like that so if i go to the blue one yeah my base it's here blue on the bottom if i go to the green one it's green it follows 
it literally follows the colors. If I go to a bus, it's pink. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. That is so, I'm a bit of a color freak, so I love that. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to using this all the time now. It'd be, I'll probably have it integrated into my videos with it so people can see what I'm doing when I'm doing videos and working with it. So that'd be kind of really good. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you how the markers work, how, how all different functions work, but a bit more in depth for each video. So that's my first impressions is really, really nice. Great quality. The build is great. It's not light. It's quite sturdy. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will be back with more videos on this subject. Ciao.